Hi, in uh, today's video, uh, this will be exercise two from my ongoing series, calling it Book of Creative Guitar Exercises by Mick Dennis. So uh, the title of this will be Combine uh, two major arpeggios a half step apart to create a Phrygian dominant sound. So uh, the two uh, our uh, chords I'll be using, I'll be using an E major chord, E, G sharp, B, and an F major chord, F, A, C, okay? So technically speaking, uh, the Phrygian dominant would have, the D, would, would have the D note in it, but in this particular uh, uh, example here, I'm, I'm not gonna be using the D note, I'm just gonna be using uh, different combinations of an E major and an F major arpeggio. Uh, there will be a PDF uh, available um, for a d free download on my website, E Major Arpeggio. So it'll be the entire fretboard. So you can just use your E Major Arpeggios all over the fretboard, and you're just going to be adding uh, the note that's a half step above each uh, arpeggio. So I'll start off uh, the lowest one. So this is just going to be the straight E Major Arpeggio E, G sharp, B, E. G sharp, B, E, backwards, E, B, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E. So the principle here is you're, you're just gonna add, you're gonna add the note that's a half step above each note. So E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, and then E, F. So if you just put those together, you can just see how it's a combination of the E arpeggio and the F arpeggio. So backwards, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E. Right, so that would work in, in a lot of different instances. So if you had like a either an E major or uh, E major to an F chord. That would work, work really well. Okay, so let's go to the next um, arpeggio shape. I'm gonna start here, G sharp, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B. Backwards, B, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E, B, G sharp. Okay, so now I'm, I'm gonna do the same process. G sharp, A, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C. Backwards, C, B, A, uh, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp. And there's many, many fingerings that you can do there. I think I'll do that one one more time. I'll just use the one, two fingering right across. Okay, so that's starting from here. Let's start from right here. So I'm going to do the arpeggio B, E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B. I'll add that note there. Backwards, E, B, G sharp, E, B, uh, G sharp, E, B. So this would be a good place to do like a sweep arpeggio. All right, so I don't want to get too much of a, off of a tangent here, so that's, that's not really the purpose of this video, but, it, but I'm just trying to show you a particular harmonic melodic device. So you can do a sweep arpeggio, as a good place for a sweep arpeggio. So let me add the uh, the F major notes uh, on top. So B, B, C, E, F, G 
sharp A, B, C, E, F, G sharp A, B, C, F, E backwards, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B. Now I'll do the whole thing backwards and forwards with just the one, two fingering. So you just have to experiment with different fingerings to see what works for you. Backwards. Okay, and now let's go on to this arpeggio. I guess I'll do uh, maybe one more arpeggio. So starting from here, E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, backwards. G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E. And that's another place where you can do a sweep arpeggio. in the note that's a half step above each note. So E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, backwards, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, a, G sharp, F, E. I'll do the whole thing with uh, two fingers. Backwards. I messed that one up a little bit. I'll do it again, so. So that's just uh, taking your basic arpeggios and then just adding a different note. So now I'll do a slightly different concept. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some basic chord shapes and use those as my, as my target notes. So what's gonna happen here is occasionally we're gonna, there's gonna be one of the notes of the arpeggio uh, that, that's gonna be missing. Okay, so you have an E chord, E, F, E, B, C, B, E, F, E, G sharp A, B, C, B, E, F, E. I'll come backwards. B, C, B, G sharp A, G sharp, E, F, E, B, C, B, E, F, E. All right, so, you're just, so you're not throwing in like the G sharp. Either. So I'll, I'll just go up and down with whatever fingering I choose to use here. So. I'm just doing a little bit of different kind of melodic riff. So low note, high note, low note. I'll come back down. Okay, now let's go to the next shape here. So here I'm going to choose not to do the lowest two notes. I'm just going to use this shape here, which is basically like a C chord. And then you refinger the C chord, and then you move it up to here and you do like a, a, a three, three string bar. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to uh, just trace the notes across here. E, F, E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp. Now I'll do, uh, how about a hammer, hammer pick. So now I'm doing down, up. Okay, so let's say I did a chord and I can just, I can maybe let the low E ring here. Come back down. So nice that sounds with the low with the low E ringy. So you just have to make sure that you don't accidentally hit that note. Okay, let's go to this next chord form. So I'm gonna do the, exactly the same thing here. Actually, no, I, I'll go ahead and throw in this note here because that's pretty useful. This B E 
uh, B, E, G sharp. And then I'll also throw in this note here for the arpeggio, even though for the chord, that's kind of a tricky thing to do to get this hinge bar up there. So B, C, E, F, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C. Backwards, B, C, hammer, G sharp, A, E, F, B, C, E, F, B, C. use your imagination to know how to use these. Okay, let's do maybe one more form here. Now I'm going to go up to this uh, this bar chord. E, E, a B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, E, F. Backwards, B, C, G sharp, A, E, F, B, C, E, F. But this time I'll just go across with a one, two, one, two. So you notice how you're leaving out the G sharp note there. Okay, so that's using some chord shapes. So now I'm gonna do just a couple examples going across the fingerboard. So I'm just gonna start here on the root. So I'm gonna trace out this shape here. So E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B. Backwards, B, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E. And I'm just going to add, I'll just do a hammer on here. So E to F, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C. And then here I'll do a pull off. C, B, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp, F, E. Be nice with a cadenza or a, it sound cool with like kind of a Spanish kind of sound. to right here so now I'm going to trace out the notes um, I'm just going to going right across six strings so B E G sharp B E G sharp backwards G sharp E B G sharp E B B C E F G sharp A B C E F G sharp A backwards A A G sharp F E C B A G sharp F E C B Okay, I'll do that one more time. Uh, how about I'll do like a hammer do a hammer pull off. Same thing on the way back. So I, I think I've talked about this in other videos. So what I, what I like to do is I like to take my my right hand and just lean up against the lower strings so that I, I, I don't have as much uh, notes uh, ringing in the background. Okay, let's do one more of these going right across. I'm gonna start from right here. G sharp, B, E, G sharp. All right, so uh, let's do just the two notes, G sharp, A. B, C, E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, F, E, C, B, pull off, A, G sharp, F, E, C, B, A, G sharp. Okay, 
And so that's just going, kind of going across the fingerboard. So I realize that there's some duplications with some of this, but this is just different ways of, of visualizing it. Actually, let me just throw in one more bonus uh, tip here. So one, one of the ones that I like to use, I talk a lot about symmetrical fingerings. Uh, so, so what I mean by that, and, and uh, that uh, when you're playing the guitar, these two strings, E and A, D and G and B and E are tuned in uh, perfect force. So anything that you do on these two strings can be duplicated on the middle two strings and the top two strings. So if we took, if we took all the B's and E's, B, E, B, E, B, E, and we added the C and then the F, so we have like a convenient four note pattern. B, C, E, B, C, E, F, B, C, E, F. Right, so then if you wanted to, to resolve to like an E chord. Same thing here. Or you can also maybe go, go to the B note. Okay, so that's just kind of like a little bonus tip. Kind of a cool, a cool lick. Okay, let me just do one more concept here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what uh, what I'm calling four note per string. So I'm just going to take two of the notes, E, G sharp. So if, you, so if you're looking at the the PDF that I have for download, I just have all the notes of an E major uh, written out on a on a piece of paper. So E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, B, E. -E so it's kind of like I'm, I'm almost combining like two different arpeggios. So if you, if you combine E, F, G sharp, A. So I've talked about this before in my videos. Don't feel like you have to stretch. You just have to kind of think, think more in terms of kind of a, a smooth shift. Okay, next one, B, C, E, F. I'll combine the first string and, and second string. So the beauty of this approach is it helps you maybe visually to, to, to see, and it also uh, makes your picking uh, easier. All on the same string. Sorry. Now G sharp A, B C. Okay, next one E F G sharp A. So if you want to let that E ring there. A different kind of fingers. Okay, B C E F. one E F G sharp A so, so those ones on on the open strings are a little bit easier obviously because you, you don't have the stretch quite as much okay what I'll do is I'll, I'll just go right across with those so on the sixth string up to first string Let's go on to up here. So, so we're gonna we're gonna combine B and E. Okay, now we're gonna go to the G sharp A, B C. That's probably the easiest one to do because of the, the intervals and landing on the third. Okay, then E. So we'll combine now E and G sharp. Now we're going to do B, C, E, F. 
minimize. So you could do, I mean, you can certainly go shift up like that with the one and two, or you can just do what I'm suggesting. Okay, next one, let's go to the G sharp here, G sharp A, B, C. If you wanted to do this stretcher, a really good uh, pro tip is try to bring your thumb fairly low. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting right now with a classical guitar stand, so it's getting my neck up a little bit here. So if you kind of just drop your shoulder lower, or you kind of angle your guitar neck up. Okay, I'm going to take that idea to go down to here, E, F, G sharp, A. It's a little bit harder stretch. And I'll go down here, B, C, E, E. All right, so it would be very, you know, it would be practically, for all practical purposes, impossible to really stretch there as you get, as you get down low. So that's all I have for, for this uh, uh, exercise two from the book of creative guitar exercises. So the idea here is to take, um, you know, different concepts uh, of guitar playing, scales, arpeggios, and then just try to be creative with them. So that's, that's my whole point here. Okay, so I'm going to just play out for the rest of the, um, the video. So, so thanks for watching and listening. And until next time, happy, happy jamming. So let's see what happens here. E EF um, combining.